Welcome to Reaction Zero. My name is Tyrell, and I'll be going over everything you need to know about wounds, infection, and bandages in Green Hell. Wounds There are a total of six wound types, the most common type being leeches. Leeches mainly drain your sanity while providing minor damage. You will see a magnifying glass indicator on the bottom left of your screen alerting you of a wound. You will want to inspect your body regularly to detach any leeches and to treat wounds early. Leeches themselves most likely won't kill you but will drain your mental health and can lead to more dangerous ailments. Scratches or abrasions are often caused from combat and fall damage. This wound type is not deadly initially, but if left untreated will lead to infection and more serious wound. In the rainforest, any wound can be deadly, so it's best to treat all wounds serious and treat as early as you can. Lacerations are deep wounds or cuts to the flesh, often by natives or animals. These wounds will need to be treated quickly due to severe bleeding and blood loss. If left untreated, it will become infected and kill you if your health stats were not already low to begin with. A helpful side note, melee only tribesmen cannot attack you in their own huts for some reason. A rash is an area of irritated or swollen skin. This is Fuck. often caused by getting too close to an anthill or wasp nest. A rash most likely won't kill you, but like leeches, will drain your sanity. A venom wound is an injury caused by a bite or a sting from a venomous animal. In green hell, that will mainly be a rattlesnake, but you can also get poisoned from a frog and a spider. A venom wound will decrease health, stamina, and you will catch a fever. The last wound type is worms, which is a parasite that is under your skin. This is often obtained when sleeping or passing out on the ground. Worms decrease sanity like leeches and rash. To remove a worm, you will need a fish bone or a bone needle. You can obtain these items through harvesting a fish, animal, or native. Infection Infections are a disease caused by microorganisms that invade tissue. This is caused by not treating a wound correctly or quick enough to avoid infection. If infected, you will need to treat the infection prior to dressing with a bandage. This can be done with maggots from corpses or spoiled meat in your backpack. You will lose sanity but once maggots are applied, it will take two minutes to clean the wound. Bandages To create a bandage, you must find the Molinaria plant. It has long leaves and yellow flowers at the base. The bandage will protect your wound from the elements. A bandage alone, however, may not stop infection. There are five different types of dressings you can apply to bandages for added effects. The ash dressing is good for avoiding infections and mainly used to treat scratches, abrasions, and lacerations. The campfire is a good source to find ash. The tobacco dressing is good for treating venomous wounds. The tobacco plant is most recognized from its purplish pink flowers. The lily dressing is good for treating a rash. The plantation lily can be found by the three purple flowers on a small bush. It's also well to note, when in a pinch, you can eat the leaves to fight venom poisoning. The Goliath dressing is good for treating scratches, abrasions, and lacerations. It's good to stop bleeding and avoid infections. However, this is the hardest of the dressings to obtain in my opinion, since you need to catch a Goliath spider and burn it on the campfire to craft. I would suggest sticking to the ash dressing for this one. The honey dressing is the best dressing in the game. This dressing is used on any wound except venom wounds since honey can't heal poison. You can obtain honeycomb from beehives. <laughs>